What you got going on here? All right, so we had a viewer that in my prequel 1969 Charger video, he saw a picture of my motor, I think when we had the pistons in it, and said, my pistons are in backwards. So <laughs> this is the investigating portion. We've got to rebuild your motor. Um, or put your motor back together. Right. You got all the parts now. And I want to see what I need to do to my motor. So we'll boroscope the holes. Is that what you call them, boroscope? Yeah, boroscope or laboroscope. And we'll check them. So this is the first time I think my my motor's been on camera. So oh, it's it's shy, I can tell. Look, it's leaking oil. Where's that coming from? I don't know. It, it was It rolled out of that. Up right here. So, wow, oil pump is leaking. Hasn't even run yet, and oil pump's leaking. That's already got a dang leak, leaking on that damn floor. Well, wow. It could be something I didn't get tight, or it could be I didn't clean out a powder coated hole or something because I powder coated all the stuff. So, I do not have spark plugs in. Boom, 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 boom. So we'll take our little handy Milwaukee guy with the light in it and we'll shine on each one. We'll show you the viewers. And, oh, look at all my ARP bolts, how pretty. Oh yeah, they, they're, all, they're all pretty. And I and I, I don't know if I put it on video, but I port, ported all these to match the headers that I have. Yeah. So all that's been ported and hopefully... Yeah, it's nice that you see a powder coated parts. Yeah. White. A little different color white on that one. Because you're... Uh, your stripes and everything, or bumblebee is, is white. Yeah, I really don't like that being a little yellowed looking, but yeah, with with the air cleaner, uh, with everything on it, I probably won't care. So. Oh, and your oil pan's white. Yeah, I'll probably leave that too. So let's get out the bore scope. We let's need to get see. some a towel or something on the oil All right. before we track it. So we will get the laboroscope out. Our laboroscope. Laboroscope. The, huh? The boring scope in in our laboratory. Yeah. So we'll be back. Okay. So for reference, we've got it straight. Pull it up and look at yourself. Yep. We are vertical. So put a mark on the top of that, but it's straight. That way we can just know. Don't. Oh, I, th I thought you grabbed a razor blade. I thought you were going to scratch into <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now we know that is vertical. And there's the motor. So that's straight. So put it in there. Let me turn on the light. Okay, yep. Is it on? There's no light on. Oh, hold on. There it is. There you go, there's the light. Are you seeing it? Not really. Okay, it's, it's... I can see I go in and I hit something. Maybe that piston's all the way up. Yeah, probably. Could pull it out of there, go in the other one. When it goes in at an angle like this, probably. Oh, there I can kind of see something. The thing is, is these go in an angle and I know. Are... I know, I can just see the edge of a ring. Oh. Just like the circle. I can't, yeah, there's the line. I can't see onto the top of the piston. So I think my stinking heads. Oh, this one's all the way up. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, I can't see the top of it. Well, this was a good idea. Is there any way to see into onto the top of the piston without taking the head off? 
Not that I know of. Like, pop one of the... Um, take a valve out, but you don't want to take your valves out. No, I... I think the answer is pull the, pull the intake. Pull the heads. Pull You're the gonna heads. have to do that anyway if they're not, if all of them aren't the same way or one of them's wrong. You gotta do that. Yeah, you're right. So. Okay, you wanna tear into this? We can just to be, it's a mystery that we haven't. Well, I might post to. the video because I don't know which stinking way they're supposed to be. Well, it ain't gonna take long to do, do, this is all brand new stuff, so it'll pop right I'm out. I'm thinking there. the exhaust port is gonna be a smaller one than, what is it? There's the compression port and the exhaust. What are, yeah, what are there's the intake and the ex okay, exhaust. Okay, int intake is more than the exhaust, isn't it? Or is it vice versa? But no. the heads have a bigger and a smaller on them, so yes. we can make sure they're clocked with the correct right. size of the head. If if we're looking at one here, the big side is on the left and the small side's on the right. The big gap the better be on the left. On the top of the piston. The scallop, yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. Alright, well we gotta tear into it. Okay. Because I don't I don't know of another way to do it. Oh, and even you saw us unwrap this thing, it hasn't been unwrapped in like at least a year. Uh, I turn it over, I just get on here and turn it over to make sure all it stays lubed and nothing's rusting inside. But you can Back see here. A green hint from painting the stinking car. Yeah, you can see that's green on my finger. Yeah, so even all wrapped up, it's still got overspray inside it. I mean, yeah. it, it's going to wash off, but still, so much for keeping it beautiful. Green Challenger in there. You got a little bit of that in there. Yeah, it just got around. All right, I got to get out of the wind tunnel here. Oh, yeah, look, you can really see it there on that little. Oh, yeah. You know what that little stanchion's for? I don't know. Yeah, and these are loose. All right, so 440 motor with a Holly Street Dominator intake. And then I got the Holly sniper, sniper system, system to go on top of it. And you got your sniper EFI distributor for it. Yep. You got your stanchion there for your heater. And my car's red with white stripes, so I kind of did some powder coating with some white pieces. And I'm not sure if they'll stay white okay. or not. Not sure what that, that port's for. Oh, yeah, see, that's probably going to spew water. Probably for your water temperature. Oh, yeah. I, I, I am assuming that doesn't mean that that's correct. Okay, well, let's okay. start tearing it apart. We'll do that in time lapse and we'll get down to it All and right. come back and talk a little. All right, so if you've watched Clark's Place before, you know we love our little time lapses, but uh, you're not hearing music this time. You got a little voice over here. So, uh, this would have normally been time lapse this portion of the time lapse but then a little technical difficulties pops just hit the record button and it was already on time lapse so we didn't capture all the audio for the next sections you're about to see uh which was important because that's the questions i posed a lot of questions to our viewers here just to make sure i'm doing this right uh and by the end i think we figure it out but uh, in this next section here in a minute, this is just me breaking free everything, uh, but the smaller scalloped areas on the piston tops were both like in the center of uh, one and three, they were towards the middle. And that's what you'll see me pointing my two fingers at, is the center ones on the pistons are small, and the center ones, when we pull the head and look at them, are big. So it's like two bigs should be in the center big scallops and two smalls on the outsides and that's kind of what we were explaining here asking questions is uh, my numbers are all upside down on both sides and if you've got the answer and can point me in the right direction i sure would appreciate it thank you much so this side is the same way as we got smalls in the center smalls in the center and take the camera and look at this head. I believe it's going to be bigs in the center, bigs in the center. Well, I don't know that... I'm, I'm happy that they're all the same way, that we didn't willy-nilly put them in the wrong way. Um, they, I'm not, I'm not agreeing with you 100% that small is in the center. I think they're well, all identical. Well, these two 
what we did? Oh, this, this just rolled back. I was like, where'd the roller go? <laughs> oh, it's just backwards. What are you saying? You can't, you can't see that smaller? No, it's, I don't see that it's smaller at all. Are you, you're insane. No, it's just the way it's been uh, done. Well, you're seeing something way different than me. Now the thing is, is you don't see four point four nine seven forty four point nine seven. Yeah. And that's way bigger. See what I'm getting at? You can't. There is. There's no definition over here. It's because it's that whole thing up to that line. That whole thing is wide. That's what I'm saying. You can see the, you can see down in there where it comes back up. Can't get down in there and measure those. But I, I'm asking questions as much as I'm making statements here. Um, oh, oh, they're numbered. Okay. Yeah, one, three, five, seven. See, that's the thing. You didn't do it wrong because the numbers are up. Unless the numbers are supposed to be I can't upright. tell you that. So I'm I'm gonna post this video tonight and then maybe somebody could tell me tomorrow when we're building your motor if we end up yeah, doing you, motors tomorrow. You can show them that it's <laughs> one three five seven, but the numbers are upside down. One three five seven, all upside down. And that'll be upside down as well. And then we got two, four, six, and eight. eight upside down. I just don't see that these Okay, there's that one. Well, then clock and I know, I'm saying it could be right that those need to be okay. spun so you read that you read them up right. Let's let's do this on camera. The uh what you call it? The head measurement. Let's just put this to bed. We might figure well, it out for I, ourselves. I have a feeling that maybe all of them are upside down. I'm, yeah, I'm thinking that too. Because if so, they were, all the centers would be the bigger side. Okay. You should be able to see. Oh, here, let's go ahead and go. Yeah, see, that's, that's this one. That's that one. Yes. And but then, then they should be in the centers. And then here's the big one. And this should be... So big's in the center. You all right? I just kicked it. <laughs> okay, you're in sandals though. That can hurt. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so the big one, yeah, they're all upside down. Dag nabbit! Yeah. Ooh. Okay. My little toe's got blood on it. Your little toe's got the blood on it. You can't kick. Rats! I was hoping to just throw this back together. Yeah. Now I have to tear the whole motor apart. Goodness gracious. Okay, you want to... Ooh, that is bad. Alright. Look at it, pull the skin. I think your whole toenail's gone. No, it's just the skin. On that note, we're out for emergency services. No, it's just my little toe. Oh, it is your little toe. Oh. You just skinned it, kicking the end of it. Yeah, you don't have hardly any toenails anyway. I know. So I think we figured it out, but uh, if somebody watches this video yeah. tonight, tomorrow morning, I'll be checking YouTube uh, tomorrow as we're out here. The plan for tomorrow was to get all that in white. Uh, what well, is what is it? You don't what have do you to. Call sealer yeah i don't think you have to take this stuff off oil pan's gotta come drain the oil, oil pan, drain the oil oil pan this this will stay on that probably can yeah and, then and this can stay are you on. sure the cam doesn't have to come out no the cam doesn't have to come out because you're just gonna you're just gonna pull the pistons. what about the crank the cam's up high the cam's what's driving these guys the crank is what the rods are tied to so the crank doesn't have to come out either. No, it doesn't have to come out. We can out. unbolt, unbolt each switch, one. put back. We got to pull it up. It's 
spin it Rotate and then put it back down. Because it's going to be like that, you're going to pull it. You know what a bear that is? You know yeah, because this may come up too high. No, it won't either. If we crank it around to where it's on this stroke, okay, are the rods un undo it, it'll come up, spin, and go back down and you hook them up. Okay. Right now, with this away, if you undo it to go forward, boom, boom, you're gonna pop all those rings out past, and you're gonna have to get the ring compressed. Oh, we could, and maybe this is what you're saying, it's just how I understood it. If this is all the way up, we could loosen the bolt, then back, Ooh. Back the crank back away from it. Yes. Rotate. Yes. And then put the crank back up to it. Yes. And then bolt it. No pulling out, no rings, no nothing. No. All the rings will stay in there. That is better. Yeah. If we can if we can oh, I know handle can. twist that crank. Well look out. at how much throw you've got. That's all. No, I'm down. saying spin that piston in these yeah, cylinders. Like, what I'm saying is this one's cranked. The crank lobe is way away because it's pulled it down. We undo it. You can you can push that thing way up, I spin it, you. and I it'll go you. back down. This one, if you undid it with the lo lobe this way, and you undid it, you've got no room to come forward off of the crank. That's but what I'm saying. Take you, the crank. Backwards. You could, yes. But if we just like we do these first two, spin them around. And then, yeah. And then crank it around these. I'm going to go back to the pictures, and I'm pretty sure there's a picture of you saying, put them in this way. Uh, <laughs> you're not going to find that. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Damn, nab it. All right, should I order today? That way I can pick up tomorrow the 440 copper head gasket. Yep. 440. I... I'm going to leave this one in because I think this will be fine. Yeah. Uh, I'll, we'll kick it with RTV, putting the head back on, squishing the intake back to it. If because you, it, I put minimal in there because it said this crushed. Yeah. But still, I'll scrape all this stuff off with a wire brush or something. And I don't want that shit in the moment. I know. Or, you know, I'll bleep that cuss word there. Yeah, it's that, something little like that's not going to hurt, but you don't want to drop the blobs on it down. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that, that all fit on there real good. Yeah, it looks beautiful. I love it. Yeah, Just, it's, it's sealed on there good. I uh, put all my pistons in upside down. Don't do that, viewers at home. Do not make this mistake. Yes. If it has a number one on it, make sure you can read it right side up. For the three, it's not an E. It's a three. Put it right side up. I think. But if you know different, you know better. No, I think the comment two, tonight. The tell me, email ones, me, Clark's place. Something spins around and spins around. The two big ones will be in the center. Yes. The two big ones will be in the center. And like the it. line will be on top, which makes sense that that would blow and blow out the bottom out the exhaust. I think it wouldn't come up and fire against a hard ridge and not have anywhere to blow out. I've got it to where it wants to compress it up into the top of the block. Yeah. I think, if I know how a motor works. Yeah. Golly gee. What is that thing called? I don't know. Oh, dipstick. Oh, I get it. I get it. Your dipstick? You already took it out, right? I didn't put it in. Oh, okay. I mean, I think I got a brand new one, but I don't think I put one in there. All right, so that's where we're stopping for tonight. Oh, look. That's loose. Oh, it's loose. <laughs> yeah, that's where, you, that's where your oil's seeping. Okay, good. I don't have to rebuild that damn thing. No. I guess. Yeah, I think they're all tight. So. I think that was your responsibility. You always put stuff finger tight. No. <laughs> like father, like son. Okay, well, I may have... I think I've got the, the kit. And if you want to use the gaskets out of it tomorrow... I thought you did get a 440 kit here. Yeah, I did. But we're going to rebuild, we're going to put your motor together tomorrow, too. Whoa! Is that time lapsing? No, I think, I think it's filming. Blood on the tarmac here. Woo, that's some bright ruby red in there. Uh, little toes bleed a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's live. It's not time lapse. Okay. So, yeah, all that talking we did, captured. Good. Okay, I think that's it for this video. Boy, that took your toenail, didn't it? No. All it took was 
the very tip. Well, let's I get skinned it. Yeah, I'll put a band. All right, that's it for now. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll be out here. We're either. not having fun out here unless we see blood. I mean, mainly you. We got all. Oh, is that your sore from last night's video I posted? Probably. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Like I said, ClarkPlaceYahoo.com, or you can comment on this video. I'll be checking YouTube pre periodically throughout the day tomorrow. If I'm not right that the bigs go towards the center, then let me know. I would appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, bye. bonus at the end of my video. More advice, if you would please. We're going to put together Pops' 440 tomorrow. If there's anything you see on the table that he should not absolutely use, Eagle HB long rods. Whatever that is. No, that's not what the. That's not what's in here. Oh, that's not. But he's using some rebuilt Eagle Easel factory heads. Oh, those are all just in tops. Yeah, these are the um, Kenny or something, Kenny Black. Okay, so you've got Kenny yeah, Black. Yeah, look at that. Those are different than yours. Yeah, but, well, I can't really tell which is smaller and which is bigger. Look like they're the same size. I don't know. But he's got the whole Fell Pro kit with all of those gaskets, cork. I didn't opt for cork on mine, I went with the rubber. So weigh in and tell us if he needs to get the copper head gaskets like I had for mine that and I got Eagle. I'm not gonna reuse. He's got these Eagle rods Eagle that rods. look beefy as heck. So and they said they were, they were for higher performance. Yeah, and like, like I said, I know in previous videos, I've, I've got the six pack rods in mine that are, that are way thicker than the regular 440 rod. Well, not way thicker, but you can tell which one's thicker. And got these. What are those, your bearings? Bearings. Molly? Never heard of them. And then these are? More bearings? Yeah, different, more bearings. One for each side, I guess. Is it one for cam, one for crank? I don't know. Those might be bearings, too. For the crank. These are the rings. Oh, those are the rings. Ring kit. Okay. Rings for, for these Kenny Black. Whatever. Kenny Black. And okay, and then you got a, a six pack manifold for 440. Yeah, this. What, what was the price on that? You're losing all your real, stuff here, This pop. is real pretty. Oh, yeah, that's cool. What'd you get for this? Five bills? Yeah, it was over between five and six hundred dollars. They had them on special. Okay. All right, so uh, let's get your cam number. 440 MP purple shaft cam, 484 lift. I am not a motor guy. I don't know what that means. Uh, I could look back in my pictures and see all what my lift are. Do you have any idea, Pop? No. I don't think you're a real motor guy either. So if I get mine together and it runs and burns the tires out, then I'll be happy. Right. You too? Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Uh -uh, Any other questions we got from reviews? Because the I'm, I'm gonna post this after we run to the auto parts store because he needs ARP head bolts and I need what was that? What was I needing? He need a Loctite uh, or not Loctite assembly lube. Oh, 440 head bolts, assembly lube, uh, anti seize valve cover, and a head gasket, copper head gasket. So that's my O'Reilly list. We'll see if Charlie's got it all in stock. If not, like I say, we'll order it. And then we won't be filming putting motors together tomorrow. Maybe mine. If he's got the gaskets, we'll see. Yeah, he'll have. Copper versus cork. Oh, Rubber valve cover gasket versus cork. That's the question. And then if Pops has got anything in his hobby kit here that you wouldn't use, definitely let us know in the comments. Or Clark's Place at Yahoo.com. That'd be the best way to get a hold of us. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye bye. And bye bye bye, I mean B U I B U Y. Bye bye. <laughs>